Hello everyone, this is horror author James Hershey Jr. with the Staring Into the Abyss radio show. And in this video I want to bring you a little bit of really interesting evidence that we captured at the Victorville Cemetery. Uh, we were down there with Shadow Spit Paranormal, we had the team down there, and we captured a couple of very cool entities on camera. Uh, one was above the head of our medium Sherry, and the other one was face to face with Old Boy. So they're pretty cool. Um, sorry about being in the car. I'm out multitasking right now. I'm trying to make sure that everybody has what they need for the hurricane. So I'm out shopping and everything. But I'm not going to blabber on anymore. Here are the photographs. This first picture that you're looking at now is of Sherry the Medium. And it's at the Victorville Cemetery. We are in a spot where we have encountered both a wraith and a demonic entity in the past. Now Sherry is the person that is all white in the picture. The reason why it looks so white and the background is pink is because this was shot with a night vision camera. Uh, we did a Facebook Live investigation, and you can find that video on the Shadows Pit Paranormal Facebook page if you're interested in watching the whole thing. But this is a screenshot from that video. I have two of these that show this demonic face over top of Sherry's head. In the video, she was standing there and there was nothing above her and she started to feel very very uncomfortable and almost panicked like she wanted to get the hell out of there and she let us know that she wanted to get the hell out of there that she was not feeling good she was very very uncomfortable and at that moment justin started telling whatever entity was attacking her to leave her alone and banishing it back to hell in jesus name when he did this that's when this thing appeared above her head it was only there for a couple seconds, but I managed to get two screenshots of it for you guys to look at. So if you look right above her head, you can see that it is a very creepy, very spooky looking face. And we're thinking that might be the demonic entity that always attacks us when we go in that area. The last investigation we did, it attacked Justin, and it scratched his neck and started choking him and caused him to become very, very ill. And he actually projectile vomited all over the place. So that's the first two images. I have went to both images while I was talking here. What you're looking at now on the screen is a picture of Old Boy. He had a feeling that there was something up in those woods. So he walked away from the group up to the woods to face off with whatever this thing was. And this, once again, is in the area where we've had encounters with the Wraith and the demonic entities. So... He was standing there at the edge of the woods, looking in, trying to see if he could see anything in there, because he had a feeling that that the entity or the creature or whatever was inside those woods. And as you can see on the picture here, this demonic entity was actually looking directly at him. It was only a few feet away. The picture that you're looking at now is a blown up version of the first picture of Old Boy. Okay, it's the same exact shot. I've just blown it up a little bit. You can see a little bit better the details of the entity in this picture. Now, the picture I'm getting ready to show you now, this picture is an extreme blow up of the original picture. So this is not a series of screenshots. It's the same screenshot. It's just much, much larger. You can see in this picture the details of the face of the entity, the body. And you can even see on the very top of the head, if you look, it appears to be little horns on top of this thing's head. Very, very interesting and very creepy stuff. He had an overwhelming feeling that this demonic entity was up in this area. And he went up to face off and come to find out by the photographic evidence that he was standing almost face to face with this thing. Now, he knew that it was there because he, had, he could feel it. But with the naked eye, we could not see it until we went back over the evidence and then we captured it here in this photograph. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm going to continue to do videos like this where we take the evidence that we gather on actual investigations that we go and do and present it to you guys here on the channel so you can see it for yourself. There are a lot of EVPs that will be coming from this investigation as well. All the footage is being gone through and those EVPs are being isolated out for you guys so that you can listen to the EVP without having to listen to a bunch of other crap. Because an investigation is a long thing. It takes hours. And in those hours, you might get a couple minutes of usable material that's actually good. So you don't want to sit through hours to just to get a minute. 
Um, so I'm not going to talk anymore because I, I tend to keep blabbering on and the videos get very, very long. But I hope you guys enjoyed these photographs. I will have the EVPs for you soon. As soon as they're ready, I will get a video made and put them up. Thank you guys so much for your support and all the love you show us. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Hit that subscribe button for us. Uh, like the videos and share them with your friends, guys. If you have people that are into the paranormal that you know and they don't know about our channel or know about the Staring Into the Abyss radio show, please do us a favor and share it. We would greatly, greatly appreciate that. So that's all I have time for right now. So until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do we. Bye-bye.